sometimes it is more worthwhile to allow users to choose what prompt or what, uh, what filter they'd like to utilize from a prompt. So what we'll do is change region to allow users to pick uh, a value uh, from a list uh, to then query the data set dynamically. So we'll move to permissions and value generation and allow uh, a dynamic generated list uh, that contains all of the data values uh, to be uh, created. This does not make sense uh, when you have a huge number of distinct values in your data table. It will slow the performance of the web application. But when you've got four or five uh, values, uh, this does make um, things smoother for the user. We'll then modify the region filter. We'll have to remove this filter combination. and create a prompt. Default values make sense here if uh, a common uh, value is always used by the users. And we'll name this something uh, that makes sense for uh, reference. And now you'll note that the filter icon has changed to be a prompted filter. It has a question mark. Custom calculated fields can be created from any data attributes, categories, or measures that exist in the information map. Select the new data icon and rename the uh, data item. You can then choose which folder this new measure uh, exists within and we'll choose measures. And then we can click the edit button to insert a formula. It is always a good idea to test information maps in the Information Map Studio before using them for any of the reporting tools. If data from an information map cannot be surfaced from within the Studio itself, modif modifications are required to ensure user accessibility through the SAS client tools. So here we'll select Tools and Test. We'll choose which data elements we want to verify are correct. We can change the number of records we want to display and run the test. As you can see here, the results were successful. We have data elements. The ratio appears correct. The other item that is interesting to uh, individuals is the view query. You can immediately see the SAS code that's generated from this information map. At this point, we need to save the information map into the SAS metadata repository. However, for SAS Web Report Studio to see this information map, it is important to save this in a certain location. The root location is BIPTree, Report Studio, Maps. All subfolders within this location are available for uh, discovery in SAS Web Report Studio. Now that we've created a SAS information map, we're going to use SAS Web Report Studio to generate a report. There are two types of users for SAS Web Report Studio. One is the report authors and one is report consumers. Report authors have read and write access to these reports, while report consumers only have read access. It is important to note that the information maps uh, that will be utilized uh, need to have read and read metadata access for any user. The SAS Web Report Studio application is available on your uh, web server with the URL SAS Web Report Studio. First thing we'll do is log in. And we can open a new rep open a report or create a new report. To create a new report, you can either select Report New or Report New from the top. Note you also have the options of creating a new one from a wizard or from a template. 
The first thing that you should do is select your data source, and this is the information map that you've created. So we'll pick the shoes map with region filter we created previously. You'll note it has the same date and time. And then you can select one or more items uh, to display or have available for display in this report. We'll click the double arrow button to move all of the items over. If there are custom calculations that need to be made, you can do that at this time. Note that these are simple mathematical expressions. For any of the category data items, a filter prompt from the information map can be selected or a new filter can be created in SAS Web Report Studio. You'll note that the region prompt that we created uh, in the information map is available for region. and We can select that now. We can also create new filters off of product or subsidiary. Other options include filter combinations, filter summaries, aggregates or details, and a preview of the data. For filter combinations, you can choose which uh, Boolean logic you'd like to utilize. For filter summaries, you get to see a detail on what is being uh, queried in this report. With aggregates or details, you can choose which aggregated measures you'd like to group and how you'd like to aggregate them by. And then you can preview that data. 